Having your own Spotify playlist as a DJ producer is so valuable to help with the promotion of your music. It helps with the early day streams of your releases and it even helps you build followers. In last week's video, we looked at the big editorial playlists and how to get on them. And if you didn't check that out, I'll link to it below. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why it's important to have your own playlist, how to build and promote them, and some bonuses along the way. Hey, I'm Graham Farmer. From coaching DJs for the past eight years and running data transmission for the last 14 years, I've helped DJs get releases on Spotify, grow their playlists, and build their streams so that the music can become more discoverable on the platform. And this basically gets them out of their bedrooms to touring so they can build careers in electronic music. The clear mission for this channel is to help DJs and producers understand the business end of releasing music. Also, music marketing and platforms like Spotify and SoundCloud and Instagram and Twitch to help you build more worldwide fans and ultimately get you more DJ gigs. So the small thing you can do to help us is quickly hit that like button and be sure to subscribe and let's get into it. Spotify streams now account for 34% of the total streams of all streaming platforms. So going all in on the platform as a DJ and producer right now is definitely key. Spotify is in 178 countries now and it's only gonna keep growing. The big opportunity obviously comes on editorial or Spotify own playlists. Things like Mint or Housework or Techno Bunker or Massive Drum and Bass. And to get on these, you'll need to pitch via your artist Spotify. The next is third party playlists and we at Data Transmission have some great ones across house, techno, drum and bass and more. This allows us to control the early streams of our releases and it's why we keep building them daily. Having your own playlist allows you to control the destiny of your music and allows you to control the early day narrative of what's happening with your music. It also allows you to build a community and fans around your playlist. Having your own playlist means on release day, you can put your, your own track to the top of your own playlist and essentially build those early day streams all by yourself. All the hard work is done up front by you building the playlist. The good news is you don't even need to have releases to start building playlists. If you're in that making phase of music where you're just head down making music, you can be building your playlist at the same time around the music you like, play and support as a DJ. Once you start having releases, then you can link your playlist to your artist page and drive people across both pages. Having your own playlist linked to your artist page shows Spotify you're a good user of the platform and it helps their business of growing fans and listeners. So that's the why, let's chat about the how. I like making playlists on the Spotify desktop version. It allows you to make it much quicker. You can add things like descriptions and album art, and it also makes it really easy to drag the tracks around and position them in the right places. So open up Spotify and then hit the create playlist button. Easy peasy, right? Give your playlist a name and make it specific to that playlist. Maybe it's a genre based one, give it a title around that, Tech House Bangers. Or maybe it's the tracks you're playing in the club or on your things like your radio show. If your radio show's got a brand in, maybe link it to the branding of your radio show and combine them. Drive people from your playlist to your radio show, listen again. Then you wanna start filling your playlist up with music. You wanna pick the music you're into and don't just pick all the big artists. You are much better picking smaller and up and coming DJs and producers and picking, picking artists that are similar size to you. You can even check out their monthly user listeners. If it's less than 20,000, get them in there. Obviously, as long as you're into their music. Support your friends and peers music and start building a community of playlists where you're all supporting each other. Let's help each other. Also, you could check out the new music Spotify in our Discord server, because on every Friday, people drop their new releases into that channel of our Discord server. And if you're not part of the Discord, jump in, the link's below. It's really good fun. Then you can do the really fun part. Do some more research, go on track source and Beatport, check out some music, buy some music, but also then go and check them out on Spotify and add their tracks to your playlist. Join us on, our, on my New Music Friday show on Twitch from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m where I play loads of the brand new music that day. We'll tell you the tracks and you can add them to your playlist. Then once you finish adding them, go and create a post on social media. Tag all the DJs and producers and labels that you're supporting. Each week you're gonna update it and again, repeat that process. It's gonna show you're supporting those DJs and labels and also your friends. And it's gonna help you get your playlist out there. If you're supporting people locally to you, this could actually help you with your discoverability to local DJs and producers if you're supporting them. It might help you actually get local gigs as well. It can also help you get networked with other artists and labels that are the same size as you. Or maybe future labels you're trying to get on by supporting their music now. It puts you in their space and introduces you to them. Then if you've had releases your own, sprinkle them between the tracks. Remember to add your newest ones to the top and put the other ones between the other tracks. Then you can add the big tracks, the big artists. Maybe put your track straight after the big track so you get that nice little roll off from people listening to that big track and going into yours. That'll help your discoverability. As a bonus tip, think about how your playlist plays. Really curate that playlist. 
Remember, people are going to be listening to this playlist when they're at the gym or working out or at a party in their kitchen, and they're going to want to listen essentially as a mix. So you can really curate it as a mix. Think about the flow of the playlist and how one track flows into the next. Think about the tempo and the range, as you would do with a DJ mix. This is really going to help with people sharing that playlist to their mates and recommending it to their mates. This is a banging playlist. You could be that next banging playlist. The next step is promotion and updating. Each week or two weeks, you want to update it. You want to do a little bit of pruning to take some tracks out that you're not into anymore or don't work, add a couple of new ones. Always just work on the one singular playlist. Keep updating it and adding. Don't create a new playlist every couple of weeks. That's not going to work. You want to drive numbers to that one playlist. You could, you could tweet the bigger artists that you're, gonna, that you're including, include the links to your playlist. You might get that, that glorious retweet that pushes a load of their fans to your playlist. You never know. Share the playlist on your Instagram stories and tag some of the artists that are in the playlist. Again, maybe tag one of the big ones and five of the small ones. You might find that the smaller ones all repost it and that kicks off the bigger one reposting it as well. And again, that's gonna drive people back to your playlist from, those, from their fan bases. Run Facebook and Instagram story ads to drive people to your playlist. This for me is a big win at the moment. The good thing about Facebook and Instagram stories is that most people listen with the music on. So if you've got a track playing, and your ad creative is designed properly, you can actually send people to listen to the track that's playing in your playlist and they'll see other tracks and essentially follow the playlist. If also, if you've got more of your tracks in there, you're gonna push up the plays of your own tracks because if they go and listen to the whole playlist, bingo. We run a daily ad at Data Transmission to drive our followers our playlist. And if you need more help with this, it comes as part of my artist blueprint course and you can sign up now for a discovery call. I'll drop the link below. Finally, you can make a DJ set on a platform called Anchor.fm. What it allows you to do is pick tracks from Spotify and also add notes to them, voice notes, which will tell the listeners why you've picked certain tracks. You could then link that bio back to your playlist and essentially cross promote from Music Plus Talk on Spotify to your playlist. It's all gonna help the discoverability of that playlist. Do you wanna ramp up your Spotify this year? I've made a brand new downloadable guide to help you get the most of the platform as a DJ and producer. It covers things like playlists, pitching, promotional tips for your re releases, and a little bit of basics about the platform as well to really help you maximize Spotify. If you wanna go and grab it, there's a link in the description below. Go and grab it now. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and drop me a comment to let me know what you found useful. Or if I've missed something, let me know in the comments below and I can look at that for future videos. I love reading your comments and I love hearing from you all. So please get in the comments and let me know what you thought. I am back on Twitch Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. And on Twitch, I cover topics like this. Also, we have big interviews with electronic music artists, DJs and producers. And we also have demo feedback sessions where we put your music in front of some of the biggest labels in the world and hopefully get them signed. It's been incredible fun. Come and join me on Twitch. The link is in the description below. YouTube is now gonna recommend you another video for you to watch. Go and check that out because it's gonna help you on your journey as a DJ and producer. And I will see you in the next video. Cheerio, bye.